functions of Gibraltarians. Time to pay absolute attention. What do they do in the plant body? So Gibraltarian, the very first important primary function of Gibraltarians. Remember, I kept repeating the word tall, tall. There you go. It stimulates stem growth. Yes. And before I move on, all of you know this. What is the main feature of a stem? The nodes, the nodes and the internodes. Yes, the node and the internode. Node are the regions where leaves arise. Internode is the region between two nodes. You with me? Now, what does it do? What does it do to cause stem growth? Read it yourself. Internode elongation. Isn't it? Let me go back. Longer the internodes, longer the internodes, longer is the stem. Good. Let's move further. So, this is the node where leaves have come. This is another node. The difference. The interval is the internode. And if it becomes long, the stem is longer. This concept, how will you apply it? How is it useful? In dwarf plants, which are genetically of shorter stem height. If we spray gibrellin, they would grow into longer plants. So, it stimulates stem growth in dwarf plants in dwarf plants and rosette plants. This is my favorite concept. Rosette plants. A very important question. So my favorite concept is what is important for you in the exam. What are rosette plants? Plants which grow in a circular fashion. Yeah? Cabbage. Yeah, you, you say patta gobi. It, it grows like this. So in such plants, it is often difficult because the stem height is negligible. If we spray gibrellins, they will assume some height of the stem and it will be easier for the transport of nutrients. Now, when they pause, very important question coming. Don't keep, keep your pens down. Yeah, Time to note down. When they cause internode elongation, listen to me carefully. In these rosette plants, it is called as bolting. Good. It is known as bolting. With me? So, bolting is internode elongation just prior to flowering in beet and cabbages. Look, this is a rosette plant. Circular fashion. And this is a GA treated plant. It assumes a length. Okay, and why did we say prior to flowering? Because then it reaches the reproductive phase. Yes, the stem grows in the vegetative phase. We want to apply gibrellin at that time. Let's move further. Second function promotes seed germination. It's a growth promoter. Okay, so promotes seed germination. You know, seed germinates to give out the radical and the plumule, which form the root and the stem, respectively. So, how does Gibrellin do it? With me, everybody, keep looking at the figure and keep listening carefully. So, when the seed has to germinate, embryo contained within the seed absorbs a lot of moisture and swells up. At this time, it is the Gibrellin which causes the release of hydrolytic enzymes. Okay, so you should always understand the why of things, how of things. Hydrolytic enzyme, lysis is breaking down. So hydrolytic enzymes like amylases, lipases, they will break down these complex nutrients present in the endosperm, the nutritive tissue. You've said that the carbohydrates, the fats. 
and now these nutrients can be used to provide energy for this seed for the seed to germinate okay so endosperm is already present with the food reserve we need something to break down the nutrients to change those food reserves into usable simple nutrients so hydrolytic enzymes are triggered by i'm writing it for you triggered by gibberellins yes so gibberellins are released enzymes nutrients are changed from polymers to monomers and then they can be used for germination good the third one it breaks the bud dormancy okay now what is a bud you know it the collection of cells the mass of cells which is dormant which is not doing anything which is in suspension mode yes it's like if i stand here like a statue i'm not doing anything yeah so that is the bud now it is the bud from which new structures in the plant can come out we need to break the dormancy that is done by gibberellin very very important okay so it is especially required you know in florescence you know flower buds so flowering at the time of flowering gibberellins are of ultra importance now there is a deeper concept to this and i am going to repeat that in the subsequent sessions as well children some plants you know that some plants are summer varieties some are winter varieties yes so let's say a plant is a summer variety that means it will give flowers in the summer gibberellins can actually replace the need of that summer the long days in the summer for that plant that is why sometimes you find non seasonal fruits in the market and the cold as well okay so they can substitute summer or cold requirement for flowering okay next is the concept of aging you have studied with me the phases you know this that there are phases that an organism goes through the young phase the juvenile phase the adult phase and then there is aging we become old and there are so many anti aging creams in the market but the best way is to eat proper food now in your diet including sources of vitamin c what did i say vitamin c and i have shown you all the sources of vitamin c broccoli i picked it up because it's my favorite then the bell pepper the red and the yellow ones avocado tomatoes tomatoes are amazing and easily available pomegranate these are big sources of rich sources of vitamin c because vitamin c helps in repair tissue repair and slows down the aging gibberellins children have the same function for the plant we never thought plants are actually very smart it's pretty much uh, same to what is happening in the human body so it delays senescence what is senescence you know that it is the old age when the plant becomes old gibberellin can delay that what all happens in old age yeah the fruits start falling down the leaves become yellow because there is loss of chlorophyll rna 
proteins, lipids, all these nutrients, they start reducing. The production starts reducing. So all that can be prevented or delayed rather. Delayed would be the right term. Delayed by gibberellins. So what happens? The fruit which had to fall down because the plant is old now, they can be left on the tree for a longer time. 